S4. He's level 5.5 right now, transitioning towards mid. Gonna perhaps go for the Sumail in mid. Brewmaster level 5 at the moment. Berserker's call is there. Assassinate. Is it gonna be enough damage to take him out? Indeed it is. First blood goes the way of S4, but here comes the transition. PPD, Impale, into Hex. Owie! Oh, anything. Owie just stands in the shrapnel and dies shortly after. PPD might be in some trouble now. Arteza going in really deep. A couple more right clicks will do it, but the wand saves PPD life in the end. And two kills for Secret. Very quick succession. Get on. Man, Dusa. if that was a regular skill for Dusa, legit. I think she went 0 to 1 in the beginning, as most Dusas yeah, do. Hookshot oh, mid, they're gonna go in on Zai. The counter initiation is there, though. Yeah, S4, not able to get off his dunk. Look at him go! My goodness, it took him three attempts. They end up getting killed in the end, it's a 1 for 1, as there's the Mystic Flare slash Snake. S4 gets a Berserker's Call. Attempting to run away, will not be turned to stone. Sumail almost dying with the Earth Brew. Oh, this is pretty close. He has 150 health. He's gonna, He's gonna be okay. Blink up. He's gonna get canceled. But here's a reinitiation from S4 again. AUI looks to be dead. Unfortunately, calling blade not off cooldown for S4 because he he whiffed it, I should say. Fear, unfortunately, swapped in the end and dies next to his tier one tower. Uh, and look PPD at our cheesy on the go. run. But Seeker is just cleaning this up. Three for one as Universe. Will now reinitiate with Sumail. The right clicks commence. Kuroki is trying to get away. Arteezy stuck inside the cogs, and Universe gets hit by the ice blast. Oh. And they'll trade lives, but I think Arteezy got experience for that, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he died first. Clock narrowly killed him, oh, and then he right. died to shrapnel. Man, that was so close. That was extremely close. And a value minus on Puppy, yeah. so he's going to get a lot of levels. This game is looking solid for Secret. Just that right there was a fight that shows how strong Vanguard can be. He really just took, like, no damage on the X from four, or, like, two or th I, maybe it was four chin creeps, the Brewmaster split, all of those units just tickled S4. And when they finally brought him down, it was because he decided to dive next to the Tier 1 tower. To find fear. Ward is played. Oh, is that ult actually going to hit? into an ice block. Oh, Berserkers what? call Kuroki. Stunned to follow. My goodness, everything worked out there for Secret. As fear takes a spill. And now Arteezy looking for the Roche. And don't think there's going to be found any defense here. Any defense of the Roche. That would be an interesting game mode. Defense of the Roshan. This mid lane. Sumail jumps up with a Thundercup. Here's Universe with the hook shot. Zai looks to be the sacrificial lamb for Secret. If they can get Roshan, I suppose they'll be happy with this. He's attempting to run away. Level 7 at the moment will not get away. As Roshan is at half health, this is not a fast Chan. I want to include that in the trades. So Secret yeah. coming out on top. Again. And they're probably getting this tier 1 mid as well, unless Universe can get a Dream Initiation, which isn't out of the question. He's actually in a really good position up here in the high ground. Secret have no vision. I need to oh. play the smart. Of course, Arteezy has the Aegis of the Immortal. Yeah. I think if he didn't have that, he would have probably initiated there on Arteezy. But Arteezy doesn't really care at the moment, since he does have two lives. Mechanism picked up by Aoi. PBD trying to get an angle. Oh, Here's the hook shot. Connect on Zai into Cogs. He's gonna swap that right away. Ice Blast will connect the universe and blow him up as a result. A beautiful double impaled by PPD and the finger that's gonna help take Arteezy to the grave. But he will be back with the Age of the Immortal. Kuroki on the run. Brewmaster chasing him. Arteezy's gonna be the choice target. And this should be a kill coming the way of EG. And down Arteezy goes. S4 gets a nice call, but into an impale for PPD, who's playing really well on this line right now. S4 gets thunderclapped. And all of the support he has is Kuroki, who has very little mana, will TP out as S4 drops dead right in front of his eyes. And the tier 1 tower mid will go EG's way. Great initiation. Although he did trade his life universe. That's kind that of what you have to do. That was such a good flanking move from PPD. So all of the fight takes place in this area, and the initiation from EG just comes from the front with ho the hookshot coming in. PPD is probably yeah. well on his way to his ags, and that is going to be super scary for EG. Level 11, too, so... Second level of Ice Blast is online as mid lane. There is a smoke. S4 is not going to catch it. Wow, he's actually dodging everything. Oh, Arteezy right is the bigger kill. Oh, Arteezy gets initiated by the Thunderclap. The right clicks. He's at half HP already. And the finger of death blows him up. S4 trying to get some redemption. But he's going to take an impale to the face. Ice Blast on its way. Should hit PPD, who's just going to TP out to safety. Yeah, he's going to live. That's the biggest kill they can find right now. Hook shot. It's gonna miss. Oh Universe, man. Is Universe gets a good cogs off. In trouble. Blade mail as well. Here comes the creep army of Chen. Brewmaster jumps in with a thunderclap into a primal split. S4 gets stunned thanks to the troll creep. And he's gonna continue to get chased by the Brewmaster. Fire Spirit doing a decent amount of damage. There's the rock. And I think this is gonna be enough for the kill. So EG, it was quite fortunate they didn't run into Axe, actually, instead of the sniper. They blew up the sniper and then snowballed from there.
Yeah, it looked like that could have been a bad situation for Universe, but getting caught out was actually the best thing that could happen there. It made Secret take the fight, and they don't have the... Roche is on the horizon. Kuroki scouting things out. He has no idea how close he is to dying right now. Yeah, well, Samael still smoked up. Now he's oh going to find out. He's going to run right into him. Here we go. Blink clap. Oh, wow. He dodges the stun with the primal split. He's going to use this to kill Kuroki. The question is, is the rest of the team coming as well? And honestly, even if he dies, it's not the worst thing in the world for Sigas. Actually, Arteezy dies in the mid lane as well. This is a disaster. And Zai might be next. Oh, good for staff by Universe. Zai or has that's absolutely S4. no mana. S4 comes back in, gets a Berserker's Call, but Fear with the ultimate turns S4 to stone. Or nope, not quite yet. He won't turn to stone, but the right clicks and the impale will be more than enough to get the kill. That is three deaths for Secret as the aggression continues. Fear showing off the Scotty as Zai getting mana drained. Talk about adding insult to injury. Poor Zai. This is going to be the fourth death for Secret in a matter of 10 to 20 seconds. By that, I mean 30 seconds-ish. <laughs> and a tier 2 tower shall fall as well. Yeah, this EG is just came online in the... Just super fast. Their whole lineup is just coming together. I want to say PPD has been very impressive on his line in this game. It's It's been so important that he's been able to find the kills he has on RTZ and Universe as well with the hookshot. They're setting everything up. They don't only get two separate skirmishes. The one skirmish in mid turns into a team fight and they just grab collateral damage times four with two extra kills and two towers. Secret were looking hot. And it's despite not having getting the, really cold. Despite not having the greatest pushing team, I mean, you have Chen, but... Since oh. it is fairly obvious, Fear maybe not. The cliff, doesn't have his ult. He's going to get initiated. Get Ice Blast is going to hit Aoi. He sends his comrade's arm back. That was really fast reaction time from him as well. Although, that might have been cast beforehand, actually. Either way, Arteezy gets a DD, and this might be the Roche for Secret now. So things have turned a bit. Yeah, they Chen, really needed Aoi this. Aoi buys back, though. They want to fight. Oh, wow. And Roche is doing a lot of damage with that slam. They have some vision, thanks to the shrapnel. Oh, Puppy. Universe could get such a good engage. Here's here we the go. Hook shot into Kong. It puts Arteezy on the cliff. He's going to pop his BKB. He's actually fine being up here. Who's going to get the Aegis? Kuroki picks it up as Zai's taking damage from fear. It's going to be slowed. Arteezy, are you going to be stuck up there this whole engagement? It's PPD just go. <laughs> the finger of death finishes him off. How unfortunate for well, Secret. That's a good it's going to be really good. Owie, half HP in all likelihood will die, but S4 just continues to get pounded to the ground. They're finally going to get the champ, but all they lose is Universe and Owie for four, including the Aegis. They EG just, is looking <laughs> ridiculously good. They just have absolutely no solution to this, uh, this Medusa and the Brewmaster jumping in on them. And the, the engage from Universe is perfect. He sees the opening, he knows that they're going to be ahead if he jumps in mid Roche fight. Is this the end of Secret in this tournament, Cinderin? It's getting there. I, I don't know what they can really do at this point. They, the way they took that fight wasn't that bad, and I won't blame them for trying to get Roche, because I think they really desperately needed to get something out of that. Samael, oh my goodness. Wow. Pretty good spot, although we've seen a lot of comebacks this game, so it's not over to the Fat Lady Sings, that's for sure. As Fear runs into S4, takes the Berserker's Call. The rest of Secret's on their way. Of course, will they be on time? Fear's just going to pop his ult. Stone Gaze, not going to turn anybody to stone, but S4. Hookshot has found Arteezy. You're right, Universe just leaves them in the cogs with double BKB. S4 is going to blink in with the Berserker's Call. A nice heal from Chen. Universe taking the Ice Blast. He might pop in the end. Blade Mail is activated at the moment. Zai taking a lot of damage. You're not going to get away from here, good sir. Two for one exchange at the current point. PPD continue on trying to kill Arteezy. Gives him the old sheep. We'll have to run back. Kuroki, the third death for Secret. PPD, what is online for you right now? He has the Impale. Not quite in range, though. Blink is up. Nope. Keeps getting cancelled by Arteezy. He could have tried a four staff Earth Spike there, but if he misses the Earth Spike, he's going to die and chooses the safe play and gets out. That was actually fairly close to Secret getting ahead in that fight. Aoi made a really good play, healing as early as possible, knowing that the A ultimate will come in. And Fear, he lost all of his mana. He was down. They're going to smoke out, look to get a fight in the Radiant Forest, and if they just find one or two kills here, that's a Roche too, and will probably bring them back to almost even oh in the game. Boy. They're going to right into oh, they're Fear. They're going to find Fear. That's maybe not actually that Stone bad. Gaze is up. He's going to hit it. Get stunned. Seeker's going to fall back, at least for now. The question is, are they going to re... They need re to re-go. They're also just going to lose. They're going to... Oh boy. Okay. He's popped by Zai. There was initiation from Universe onto S4. Zai trying to do as much damage as possible. Arteezy is the one we should be looking at. In the back, right clicking away. It's a one for one exchange at the current moment. 
Ice Blast comes. Oh, Zai takes a lot of damage from the Finger of Death and will fall. It's a two for one. S4 on the run. Blinks out to safety. And with that, Primal Split will be online by the time they want to take Roche. It's actually ready now. now. And here we go. Yeah, this is probably an EG Roche, unless if Secret want to buy back to try and fight it. They have buy back on both their heroes. I think that's the worst hero you can like run into. That was kind of bad luck for Secret. In a way, yes, and in a way, no. I think they just weren't completely... For Secret. Here we go. The heal's being used. A ultimate has worn off. And the Tornadoes are just going deep into the base. Sumail trying to get his stun off, or his ultimate off. He's getting stunned. Galore finally gets it off the last second, but so much was used by Secret. BKB popped by Zai. S4 gets four staffs and then bounced back by the Cogs. He has to run back to the fountain. Arteezy cycloned in the air by Sumail. Gets stunned in the fountain as well. Don't think he's going to find a kill on him, but Kuroki might be in some trouble. But in the meantime, the siege tank remains. And actually, <laughs> Sumail's going to throw his life away, but either way, bottom lane is taking huge amounts of damage. Melee Rax is down. Fear still has the Aegis. For another Wants 10 seconds. Oh, they're actually killing him. He that was a mistake. Doesn't pull an RTZ, unfortunately, for him. And they're going to reinitiate. S4 extremely low, but Fear actually drops before he can pop Mana Shield. All right, that totally didn't matter. So three deaths for EG, but they do get the double Rax. Not That's the worth it. The bottom this lane. is worth it for Secret. It's actually worth it. They got so much gold out of that. Sumail, wow. Sumail was extremely close to not getting his ultimate off, by the yeah. way. He blinked in and he split, and then he stopped the split because he was like, mm, maybe I can get a clap off first. <laughs> it looked like that was what so happened. Cocked. Tried to cast. PPD really wants to initiate on RTZ. He's going to get the impale off, but I don't... Oh, okay, he's going to use the finger. Here's the hook shot. BKB on RTZ. Does he have buyback? He might not even die here. His universe is taking the brunt of the damage from S4 with the Berserker's Call. He gets healed up by the Chen. Universe four staffs out. Meanwhile, top lane Fear and AUI trying to take out the Tier 3 tower. They will not be successful as Zai shows up with the BKB. Universe on the run. Battle Hunger into Berserker's Call. And into Culling Blade just chops his head off. That's the only death, some way, somehow. Fears out of mana up top. Aoi has a TP. I don't know if he makes it out here. He's going to try. There will be a... Oh! What? Oh, he so got Mael's out. going to take some right clicks from Arteezy. Arteezy extremely fast. PPD, four staff, gets healed. Impale will connect. Will not go any further. His finger's actually online, but unfortunately no mana because Fear's going to take out the Ventral Spirit. S4 and Zai extremely low, but Fear, he might drop to the assassination from Arteezy. He has buyback, but probably not going to use it. The Tier 3 tower was taken out, but the racks remain for Secret. Full Daedalus for Arteezy, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. They lost their bottom lane. Now there's only one lane to focus on for EG. So, okay, that? Oh, that's true for the Halberd. That's a good point. And Secret looking for the Roche. Meanwhile, top lane, PPD is going to be pushing. Wow, is Universe actually going to oh, try this? Puppy getting initiated on by Brewmaster. There's the stun. He might get this kill very easily with the Thunderclap from the Aghanim Scepter. And Roche will fall. Sniper picks it up. Boots of Travel picked up by Fear now. He's going to port on the Brueling. Uh oh! Oh, Secret, you're home Here we to go. trouble. This might be the last leg for Secret. Melee Rax is going to be taken out, I think. Arteezy's TP was stopped by a hook shot. Oh no! This is going to be mega creeps going the way of EG. Side pops the BKB, but it's all for not. EG just needs to run away with that stone gaze. Mega creeps. Berserkers call for S4. They might be able to clean up PPD, but is this going to be enough? They might get two. Big calling blade is going to take him out. He has buyback. Clockwork does not. Can they come back from Mega Creeps? Arteezy does have the Aegis. This is going to be... If they can come back to, from this, it's going to be the biggest comeback of all time. I think Arteezy's getting a rape here now. He's flying out the courier toward the secret shop. It's going to be a lot Was the raw. cheese denied by the centaur, by any chance? I think it came... Yeah, okay. So the centaur walked in, got a nice stun off. The Aegis was already taken, and then it denied the, the, uh, the cheese. As Mask of Madness was what was dropped for Arteezy to pick that bad boy up. Man, what a play in the heat of the moment, though, by EG to port onto the Brewmaster split and get those racks. And avoided the team fight that could have been risky there. Ultimately, only trading it for a Roche, which they take any day of the week. And Arteezy, no, he's getting a Mjolnir. They're looking for the long base defense instead of the all in mid. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, well, they've lost to it initially. before. <laughs> they lost to Vichy Gaming. They yeah. know it's Fear Home. They ported out the Chen. They forced a buyback from Axe. That's a huge win. And Mask of Madness comes back online for RTZ. <laughs> oh, Fear back in the mid lane. Berserker's call, but he's doing more damage to S4 than he'd like to 
to admit is Yunus with a beautiful Kongs forcing him out to the other side. Kuroki might sacrifice his life for his comrade in arms. And actually, he forces himself now up the cliff. He will live to see another day. But this, never mind. <laughs> the finger of death just decimates him. Arteezy trying to make a last stand for secret. S4 as well. The tier four tower, only one remains. And now the Ancient is all alone with the buildings. And Arteezy will drop. That's the Aegis though. He'll come back online very shortly. Fear, everybody taking the Ice Blast damage. This is pretty big for secret. S4 stuck in the middle of everybody. Gets the person to call off. Culling Blade will not proc, however. Puppy going down to the split shot of Fear. The double kill. This is a disaster. Secret looks to be out of DAC 2015. EG will find their way in the grand finals. Best of five tomorrow versus Vici Gaming, who they lost to. A rematch previous of the series. winner's bracket final, which Vici Gaming won pretty convincingly 2 0 today. Yeah. Wow. They fought hard. Both teams. This is a Rashid Wallace quote, and you're not going to know who that is, but both teams played hard, my friend. Both teams played hard. Yeah. The better team won. But he doesn't say that, actually. No. I never said that. So despite this being a 2 oh, this is a very exciting series, I have to say, and it did not disappoint. Secret. Both teams, a lot of fans in the Western scene. I, I've heard that, who was saying that in the, in the studio, that a lot of fans left the stadium because it's two North American, well, not North, two Western teams going up against each other. Their favorites.